Let's just start off the day. What is glutathione? So glutathione is a tripeptide. What does that mean? Tri means three. Peptide means essentially amino acid. And there's three amino acids that make up glutathione. Glutamine, cysteine, and glycine. Those are the big three. Glutamine, cysteine, glycine. Now, really important because these are all amino acids, sulfur-rich amino acids. And you're not going to find a lot of these amino acids, by the way, in, in plant-based products. You're going to find them mainly in animal-based products. Sulfur amino acids are much more rich from animal than you do plants. A lot of plant-based products tend to be lower in sulfur amino acids, and you actually have to combine them to even get them appropriately, right? That'd be like rice and beans, right? Because they're missing certain aminos, so you got to combine them just right. So glutathione, really important. Tripeptide, glutamine, cysteine, glycine. Glycine, very, very high in bone broth and collagen, right? Cysteine, very high in a lot of high quality animal products. Also whey protein, okay? And then glutamine is obviously in a lot of gut healing supports. Glutamine is really important for the gut lining. Uh, glutamine can also be more inflammatory too if you don't have enough B6. It can go down glutamate pathways without B6. So we also want to make sure we're getting enough B vitamins. And we'll talk about glutathione metabolism. And we'll talk about some of those pathways and what nutrients are needed to maximize glutathione and healthy glutathione metabolism besides just those tripeptides, glutamine, glycine and cysteine any thoughts evan yeah i think it's all excellent i look forward to breaking it apart more now how do we measure glutathione one way is we like to look at organic acids testing there's not a direct marker that says glutathione boom that's your level but using some of the metabolites that you can measure in the urine you can get an indicator of it and we know that when people are exposed to toxins whether it's mold or heavy metals or pesticide herbicide whatever it is you're going to be reducing your glutathione levels. And as you mentioned, you know, people that are on veggie based diets, they're probably going to show up low. And so we can measure that on the oat test. Are there other ways that you know of to measure glutathione or is that what you use? So yeah, the big ones, like you mentioned, are going to be the pyroglutamate, the sulfate and the alpha hydroxybutyrate. Those are going to be some of the best ways to test it on the organic acid. Those are precursors to glutathione and a lot of the, the sulfur nutrients, cysteine, glycine, glutamine. Those are big, big ways to do it. So when you look on the organic acid section, it gives you about five different organic acids that are, that are very, very helpful at looking at glutathione. The big three are the ones I just mentioned. I'll pull up a couple others that I use as well that are more on the precursor side for glycine. So glycine is another big one because that's really important for um, glutathione as well. And there are others that look at glutathione and then the cysteine and the glutamine on top of that. I'll pull that up in one second. So organic acids are great. There's also a red blood cell glutathione that you can do. Dr. Data does it. I think SpectraCell does it. Have you ever um, done it or do you run it or do you think it's not worth it if we're doing the oat? I think if you already have a good look at the oat, there's four or five markers on there that you can elucidate from. So I think the oat's fine. But if someone has a chronic condition, chronic detoxification issues, I don't think it's a bad way to just kind of give it a, an extra look-see, especially if you're struggling on the organic acids or if the organic acids look good, but you're still having some detoxification issues. I don't mind running it. A lot of times I'll run an ion panel with some of my patients, which will come with an organic acid and a intercellular nutrient blood test as well. So it would be on there and then also be on the organic acid. So that's a way to kind of get a package deal on it and kind of get two for one, if you will. Yeah, I love the combos. Love the combos. Yeah, so like you mentioned the like vegetarian sources where people are going to get sulfur to boost glutathione. I mean, that's going to be the cruciferous stuff. This is why you and I will use some of these like broccoli sprout extracts. There's some kale sprout extracts, things like that. There's different greens powders and there are some encapsulated products that we use. And I've used them with children where if they weren't able to swallow or they couldn't stomach like a encapsulated glutathione or maybe a liposomal, they didn't, they didn't like the taste. And some of the broccoli sprout extracts tend to work pretty good. Totally. And on the organic acid, just to highlight sulfate and pyroglutamate are the big ones for glutathione. That's really big. And then the other ones are going to be um, 2 methyl hyperate. We'll really look at glycine. And then the glucurate also looks at glycine. So those are some of the other ones that can be ultra, ultra helpful.